Good day from SeaWorld San Diego. We're here today because I found out something really interesting. I was complaining about the Sky Tower in the Sky Ride, that it costs $6 now to do it. Uh, it still does, but I found out that if you have a uh, silver, um, gold, or platinum annual pass, you get to ride them for free, which is awesome. And I was looking forward to riding the Sky Tower, which you can see behind me, because I wanted to get a good view of Mako. They're making Mako, the new coaster, uh, next year in 2020. It's a, a drop coaster, kind of like Griffin at uh, Busch Gardens Williamsburg. It's been there, but it's smaller. So we'll go around and see if we can find where they're building this. I think it's by Atlantis. And also see what else is new here for uh, Halloween. Let's get in and check it out. I do find it ironic like the one thing I wanted to ride today is closed. Hopefully not for long because I want to see the construction progress. You can see the bamboo shark just hanging out here. This is all the petting pool. This back area by the Explorer Cafe is closed off. Normally you can walk back there and there's nothing there. Makes me wonder if they're setting up the Christmas uh, Santa Village already. Because it is a lot that they do to it, so maybe it's taking a while. If you've been following this channel for a while, you probably know I've talked about it, but this submarine quest ride is the weirdest thing. It was like open for a few months and just closed down. Here's the track. Just kind of goes around here. Has indoor sections. It looked really fun. I wish I did it when I had the chance. But now it's just sitting there abandoned. There's a pumpkin sitting up here on the lab. There's a thing they have called the pumpkin hunt, and you get a special pin if you find them all. Maybe I'll ask about it and see what it is. It's still fascinating to me that this Nautilus Amphitheater doesn't have any show in it. I feel like it'll be that way until uh, Christmas time where they do the Christmas show. This ride really is a lot of fun, especially in the back. You'll see you get the twist a little bit more. And then of course this part. Over here to the left of Atlantis, I, I still feel like this is where Mako is going to end up going because there's a lot of space back there. There's cranes currently working and there's nothing else back here. I'm not, I don't know this for sure. Um, unfortunately, I don't think there's any good vantage points. Uh, maybe if we went on uh, Atlantis or Electric Eel, we could probably see what's going on back there. It's off uh, Electric Eel because well, two things. One, I'm wearing basketball shorts, so I had to get a locker. It's now $2 for a locker uh, for that ride. I don't know if the other ones are the same price, but that one's $2, even though I only used it for 10 minutes, so there's that. Also, I went on it to see what's going on back here. Um, it's a huge dirt lot. It's pretty big. It's a good size to fit the uh, dimensions of the coaster. It's supposed to really fit a drop coaster back there. So I'm not 100% sure, but I, I really do think that's it. There's just two cranes back there in a dirt lot. And there's some areas that are dipped in, almost as if like a coaster was gonna go down. Hard to say, but I'm betting my money that's where Mako's gonna end up going. There's just a random little door open on the theater. I wonder what that's all about. They've got two booths set up in front of Wild Arctic. It's still weird to see this area empty because most of the year it's occupied. Penguins are very active today. Hey, buddy. <laughs> I feel like there's more of these birds in here than ever. I'm counting five of them. One, two, three, four, five. They've got a green wing and blue and gold macaw, but the cage is so far back. It's difficult to see them, even with just the naked eye. I feel like this box here is for treats, for the trick-or-treat trails, for the Halloween Spectacular. It is a weekday though, so they're not doing it today. Enter the turtle void. <laughs> I've always wanted one of these like fake water projectors from my bedroom, just put it on the roof. How cool would that be? It's a big boy. This guy's got the right idea. Taking a nap. This is neat. Pumpkin pot. Here's something I haven't seen in a while. Normally they're right side up though. There's still only one showing a day of these shows. That's how you know it's the slow season. This thing's neat. Check this out. 
I just noticed there's witch legs sticking out of that tree. She must have crash landed. A little surprising, the aquarium is still shut down. It's been shut down a long time now. I think it was like all summer, actually. So hopefully uh, they're just making it better, changing some things. And to the left of it, you have another trick-or-treat spot. Funny thing, this is the only ride I've seen with over a five minute wait. It's 15. You see there's actually people uh, out pretty far. Ironic that the longest line is the thing that costs money. I'm amazed that piano hangs like that and is yet to fall over. Tidal Twister's rolling today. There's a pretty long line for Shipwreck Rapids today, which is understandable because it is hot out. One of the hotter days we've had. You see them coming out from underneath the Shipwreck Reef Cafe. I guess I've been saying it wrong all this time. I've always called it Shipwreck Cafe. Regret getting wet? Give us more money and you can get dry. Wow, walking by Shipwreck, I've noticed this menu's gotten real small. Again, it's a seasonal thing. They're closing down restaurants and limiting your food options because they've removed three of them. This rescues to date number, which I've found doesn't show up on film right. So I'll read it. It's 35,968. This grass is out of service. It's just plain right not there. Well, the orcas are very active right now. I was just pointing out how they only have one show. So the fall is kind of like the animal's summer break in a way. Think of the Jurassic World ride. The apex predator of the deep. Except it's not a Mosasaurus. It might be difficult to tell, but the orca is eating off the bottom of the tank. Two, one. Any machine. But you don't need to have a penny. They provide the penny, but they charge a dollar instead of 50 cents or 51 cents like you usually have. And they don't give you the option, which is really unfortunate. I like that they give, give the option to offer a penny, but they won't let you use your own. That's a, a little disappointing. I hope they're not all like that in the park. I know I've used them here before, um, but hopefully they didn't change them all to this. All right, that's going to do it from SeaWorld San Diego. Hopefully that sky tower opens up soon because... I would frequently be doing it just to see the updates on Mako. Mako, I'm fairly certain, is going to be in that spot. 2020, looking forward to it. Drop coasters are a lot of fun. But a slow day, just how I like it. Electric Eel, always a fun ride. I forgot how much fun it was, really. But that is going to do it. So, thank you all for watching, and now the caravan is moving on.